let us understand about the repo triggers in business central how how the repo triggers will execute okay what is the flow of the repo trigger so that is what we are going to see with an example so we can use triggers in reports and other object as well so we all know that like page uh, in table so everywhere so triggers can be considered as a predefined procedures that run when a certain event occurs okay so specifically in a report we have three categories of triggers okay so the first category of trigger will be like the uh, report which uh, that is a trigger which execute based on the report okay report level triggers we call it as call it as so triggers which execute based on the report okay so uh, you can see on init report which execute based on the report on pre report okay and on post report okay so this three are the report categories of triggers that is a trigger categories which def basically depends on the report the next one is based on the data item so you can see this is depends on the data item and this also depend on the data item and this is also depends on the data item so you can see on pre data item trigger um, and on on pre data item trigger okay and on uh, uh, post that is on post data item trigger and you can also see that on um, after get record okay so these are the uh, uh, report triggers which we have and apart from this we also have the page request that is a request page okay so we will look uh, with an example for everything okay so on pre report which contains um, uh, the statement that run immediately before the report is run okay when do we need this so that we should understand when we exactly need this on pre report so on pre report is executed first before the report is run and which is used to perform the any necessary setup or validation okay let us take an example with the sales order okay so let a uh, sales report okay so on pre report trigger which will be executed when the report is initialized and can be used to set initial values and configurations that are, that is what i said so for sales report you could use the on init report trigger to set the date range for the report okay between what date to what date you wanted to show the report for example the first quarter to the second quarter so uh, we can write that inside the trigger that is trigger and you have one thing called on init report okay and also uh, remember that all these report triggers are not mandatory that you it is not mandatory that you should set it okay so you can even just uh, uh, neglect it if you don't want it okay so you have to write the statement within this begin and end where you can just uh, create a, a date from and uh, day two uh, day two here okay day two fine so this is on init report on initialization of the report that is what the init means okay so this is what on init report you can see here uh, this is what the on pre rip on init report okay this will be executed first so the next one is the on request page so you should also understand like what this when this on request page will exactly work okay so um, on when you initiate the report okay when you start the report to run the on init report trigger is called first okay this will be called first initially uh, this will be called okay this will be called first so what happens then if the on re init report trigger does not end the processing of the report then the request page for the report is run okay so the request page will be executed if it is defined so as i told this is not mandatory okay if it is defined this will be executed or else this will be neglected okay the page triggers for the request page are called okay whatever the trigger which you have written for the re uh, request page trigger that will be executed so what is written how you can return so you can write uh, on request page so this is not like pay so you can uh, start like a trigger so on request page and now we have the special layout like request page layout in the newest version so there you can write the trigger over there 
okay this is what the previous triggers whatever we had okay so uh, here you can see like um, this is the second one and what happens is what next one okay so the page this will be called and you can also decide to cancel the report if you don't want the report you can cancel it if you decide to continue then on pre-report this is what the next level of report will be executed on pre-report trigger will be executed okay at this point no data has yet been processed okay this is completely happening only based on the report level no data you cannot see any data no data will be retrieved from any of the table okay so for example if you are doing for the sales report okay so you are trying to access the customer table okay so customer table where you will have all the records uh, and the uh, attributes so this is customer name customer tape customer address customer phone number or everything so this nowhere it will go and connect with the table till now the report level is executing okay fine so now what happens you know like um, uh, when the first data item has been processed uh, process the next data item if any exists is processed in the same way when no more data item if you are trying to access so after on pre-report if you are trying to do something with with the data item okay so what i can do with the data item you you may have this doubt okay so what you can write it in the on pre data item for example if you wanted to um, uh, filter the sales line based on the date range okay uh, so sales based on some date if you want to filter it so you can write it on the on pre data item trigger okay here what it will happen is what this will be executed before each data item is processed and can be used to perform any necessary setup or validation for the data item so this will be executed okay and what happens next is what so uh, once it is all done so what happens it will go to the on after get uh, get record trigger but this will be executed after the each record is retrieved and can be used to perform any necessary processing on the record after getting the record so once you get the record what it should do okay so here you should understand it clearly so on after get record uh, this will run when a record has been retrieved from the table even one record is retrieved from the table okay when whenever the record is retrieving from the table then this three will start working on pre data item on after get record and on post data item okay so on pre data item runs before the data item is processed and after the associate variable has been initialized runs this will run when the record has been retrieved from the table and this will run when the last record has been iterated for the last time okay the record has been iterated for the last time okay so this is what these uh, three uh, triggers will do and on post uh, report trigger so what happens runs after the report has run but not if the report was stopped manually or a quit method using any quit method if you have stopped it this will not run you can even write the post trigger so what you can write it in the post trigger if you wanted to reset the values for any any of the variable which you have declared or any of the uh, filter you have created okay so if you wanted to just reset it then you can go ahead with the on post report so after completing all this report after the report has been generated then if you want to reset something you can write it in the on post report trigger okay so let me show you some uh, example like what you can write it in the on pre data item so you can filter the date okay anyhow on after the record so after getting the record what you can do is you can mm, uh, you can just calculate the sales amount for each sales line record okay so you can just calculate the sales amount so how i'll be calculating so i can write the on uh, uh, on after get record so trigger on after get record 
so this is the trigger and inside that you can write a variable so i'm just going to get the variable sales amount because sales amount is required for this and uh, i want to store it right so i want to store i want to calculate the quantity and the unit price and i want to store it in the sales amount so i'm just creating this and inside begin and end you will be writing the logic okay um so you'll be writing the logic like sales amount so what we have written here sales amount is equal to sales line dot quantity or um, if you have if you have created record dot quantity sales line dot quantity if you have multiple table sales line um, dot quantity multiplied by sales line um, dot unit price okay i'm just trying to show you like how you can get it so and then you can just make it or uh, make it as a total sales in the table okay so you can just calculate it and if you want to show it to that you can write multiple logic here like it if you wanted so you can just display this as a message okay like what is the total sales or else if you wanted to uh, apply this for every record then you can write write a logic for that too okay so this you can do it for on after get record and if you wanted to do it for on post data item then obviously as you have to uh, you can what you can do is like on post data item if you want to display the total sales amount of each customer then you can do it okay you can display it and then finally on post report you can reset any variables filters so whatever you have created that is possible with that so this is what the trigger if you wanted to see every uh, triggers with an example please leave, leave your comment i will show you the code there is a complete vs code for that um i hope you find this video useful let me know if you have any doubts in any other uh, uh, topic i'll be happy to uh, discuss with you thank you take care bye bye